Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Sunless Seas. In the last episode we managed to get, well we got what we needed to cross the deserts to enter Nida. And today, I think, I'm going to try and increase my spine network to rank 7. And last time we found out we needed romantic literature, which is sold at the Carnot. It's just in Khan's heart, not Khan's shadow. So we should be going there to try and find some of that and hopefully we'll have enough to maybe get it to seven? It's gonna be interesting. Let's put it that way. Uh, of course we could just buy our way through it, but there's no fun there, is there? We also need torpedoes. So uh, that's just a case of going back to London and buying them, which is remarkably boring, all things considered. So, let's go see if we can get to two. Can't hard. Uh, I might as well compile a port report while I'm here. And then we shall leave. We shall give them a hunting trophy, we have many of them. We shall leave. Okay, where is the Carnet? It's not that far away from here, it's literally right there. So, Carnet, and then we shall go to Port Carnelian. Oh, it won't let me. That is, there we go. I was thinking that maybe I should uh, invest all my heirlooms and things uh, in my house in London. Just in case I want to make another character at some point. I mean, because what I'm probably going to end up doing is taking a break, go to Sunless Skies, and then come back to Seas and do one of the other endings. Because that well, could be interesting, couldn't it? Even if it's just a mini-series. I really want to set up my own kingdom. I'm also going to apologise for my voice. There's been a lot of painting going on this... This, uh, this Christmas holiday, and apparently I just, it's ruining me. Slowly but surely, it's just making me feel awful. So, uh, <laughs> it's wonderful being allergic to paint. Well, the gases that come off of paint when they're drying. So I just feel a bit rough. Should be the Copper Quarter? It's the Nephite market, I believe. Hopefully my Carganian suspicion hasn't risen too high. That would be problematic. Do I need crew? I do need crew. I think I need crew as well, but uh, we'll do that back in London. Do you sell? Man, they sell dark drop coffee beans for very expensive. <laughs> oh, they also sell the mirror cash box, which I didn't realise. Oh, here we go, romantic literature. I'm going to buy two of these, just in case I get the same one back to back. That's by three. Do I need fuel? This probably isn't the best place to get the fuel. It's 15. Oh, that's not too bad. I'll buy a, I'll buy a little bit of it. All right, let's go to Port Carnelian. Port Carnelian. All the way down here. Oh, that's going to be a long one, isn't it? Let's see if we come across anything interesting. I'm hoping we get some of the things that I can actually do. And I don't just get... I suppose I could do the Searing Enigma one a few times. <laughs> I do have quite a few Searing Enigmas. I've been holding on to them the entire game. Hopefully I don't need these for something else. But I have a funny feeling once you do all three of the things, you lay the plan out. I don't really know what happens, but... I don't think we're going to require any more stuff. I think it's just maybe checks. Let's see if we can actually do it. Or the hardest part could be getting the materials we need to start the quest in the first place. Which is what I'm kind of banking on. Moo Island, do we dock at Moo Island? Have tea with the factor. My terror is a little bit higher. Plus it's free supplies, we may as well. While we are here. Oh. There we go, dock. Where are you factor? Thank you very much. Lost two terror? In one supply. Only two terror. I feel like that used to be more than two terror. Maybe I'm just so underwhelmed by a lot of the early game terror reduction. I'm so used to uh, the hood and the triskelegant and my big house, obviously. If I keep going this way, I'm going to hit the blue birds, aren't I? And it's going to be just—it's going to be dire. 
Can you imagine beating Mount Nomad and then dying to the damn birds? That would be beyond embarrassing, and also completely possible. The false stars above? Are feral amber like tiger's eyes? Stamford's its expanse, named for one who lost his child to cats. What an interesting, interesting thing to write in the journal. I wonder what happens if we get to 1899. Can they patch that in? Because <laughs> obviously in the Fallen London universe now, we're at 1899. Technically, we're at like 1901. Oh god, it's the wax wind. Ah! Uh, nope, nope, nope. Ah, oh, bugger. That's fine. Oh uh, yeah, technically we're at like 1901 or 2 now. I think 1901. But it's still 1899. Uh, let's go to Port Carnelian. Okay, where are you, my spy network? So fulfill your spy's needs. Please require a book. <laughs> An addition to a tiger's library. The governor relies on a cadre of docile native tigers to act as intermediaries with their fellows. One of them has a weakness for pot boilers. A tiger is pleased. He asks you to read from one of the more explicit volumes. An hour later, he rumbles one more chapter. The third time, lazily flexing his claws. Okay, so now it's a... Uh, we gained one. Not quite as much as a searing enigma, but uh, we need three more. I gained one terror. Oh, that's a dying. Find out if they need anything else. Money. Monies. Monies. Yes, monies buys secrets. Exactly. 200 echoes, but a high risk challenge. Or an elucidation. An acid. Once forthcoming has grown reticent. What's that? Is that just a tale of terror? Yeah, we could give seven tales of terror. We have 52 of them. Let's go. You tell the asset, who perspires appropriately, of the bloody rites conducted in Storm's Temple at the Shelanet. How they are always looking for celebrants, willing or otherwise. The requirements are meagre, bones to break, a voice to scream. Your asset is eager to change the subject, here come the secrets they owe you, gushing like spray from a cracked drain pipe. Error at five? Oh no, it's the bloody diplomatic agent again. Uh, okay, well I don't think I have this. Oh again, no, this isn't the one I've seen, is it? This is a different one. Port Carnelian is choked with spies, bewildered surface spies, earnest spies from London, elegant spies from the Carnet, splendid spies from the Presperate. But there's always room for a small one. If I had a, a diplomatic agent, I could do this, but I don't. Uh, insight. Oh, I need the... God's attention? One of your operatives is troubled. Her temper is short, a flaw in a spy. My ears are full of thunder, she tells you. Too loud. Her eyes have turned grey as rain clouds. I'm afraid I don't have Storm's attention, and I'm also not actually aware on how to get it, so let's see if we can seek another opportunity here. Times change. So we either have bait. A rival agent besets your network. You need to draw them out. Two secrets. Oh my god, that's expensive. Your authority. Rival spymaster possesses a meeting. Ugh, I'm going to use the secrets. No spy could resist these secrets and maintain a shred of professional respect. Your quarry betrays himself. Your agents pursue him into the fungal jungle. The matter ends with knives in the violet shadows and blood on the stalks. Hey, can we do one more? An elucidation again. Let's do it. A cracked drain, drain pipe. There we go. Port Carnelian. Seven. That is what we need. 
So now do I go and get... Go back to London, I guess, and get the torpedo pass. Is this going to be the episode where I actually finish? Wouldn't that be insane? And sad, all at the same time. Or I run out of fuel because I'm an absolute idiot. Uh, uh oh. That could be a problem, couldn't it? Maybe? Maybe a problem? Yeah, this could very much be a problem. Um, would a pirate go up? Can I buy fuel at the Cuman Canal? Ah, we can buy fuel at the Iron Republic. I think. Let's go find out. Otherwise I might be in trouble. Uh, shops. There we go. Fuel. I'm just going to buy loads because it's cheap. Sweet. Terror's at 46. Good lord. Okay, I need to keep my terror. I need to maintain my terror until I get back to London. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble. Just follow the coast. How bad can it be? I use my light to keep my terror down low. It's been a long time since I kind of screwed my terror up without wanting to, to find the constant companions. I'm sure the key is turning it off and on again. I don't want to waste fuel. It's the canal. Nothing too exciting. Did go back to the surface. He did, he did way too much fuel, admittedly, and now I realise I could have just bought it from, uh... Grand Republic. Uh, let's ignore them, let's get that terror down a bit. Oh, it's a crab! I could kill the crab for terror reduction, I suppose. Oh, bloody fog, really? This is fine. Just... Just pretend the fog is fine. I think we're okay. I don't think my uh, terror's actually... Yeah, my terror's going down. Sweet. That's fine. We made it back to London. Perfect. Now we'll just rest in our townhouse. Oh, oh sorry. Z-Side Manor. We are an important individual. Oh, hi. Um, yeah, I got nothing to hide. Okay, spend some time with our family and things, enjoy their company, let's spend some time in our house. Okay, now we have no terror. Let's go to my study. Stuff here, oh, do they require seven secrets? That's a little bit annoying, isn't it? Uh, convert captivating treasures into heirlooms, and they'll adorn your lodgings until the day you die. After that, your family will probably sell them. I have 16 in the mansion. I have 9. <laughs> convert a collection of outlandish artifacts into an heirloom. Individually, these artifacts are interesting. Together. They are unique. Hmm. Well, let's, uh, let's put a few in here. We have one heirloom. Let's hope the silly young fool appreciates the lengths you went to. He won't. <laughs> like, oh, look at all this free money. Good lord, how many times am I going to do this? Eh. Scrolling. I'm going to keep like one or two. 
I'm going to put a lot of these in here. I'll keep two. Just in case. I convert some of these outlandish artifacts though. I'll do one set of outlandish artifacts as well. At least if they're sold, they'll be sold together. So we have eight heirlooms, which I think is like 8,000 echoes or something, which is quite a lot of money. Wait, okay. So that's that sorted. Let's hope uh, I have enough room for the. Wait. Oh yeah, of course, torpedo parts don't take up space, do they? I was like, how am I going to take a, how am I going to have a hundred of them? But no, I have, I have 20 already. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. There we go. 100 torpedo components and everything else we need. Let's get some crew before we leave. Uh, hire more crew. Into two crew. Your tall tales find a ready audience. Scarred and seasoned men and women tramp aboard and find places to sling hammocks. Let's get 20 crew, there we go. 21 crew, that, that's a good amount, just in case we accidentally lose any. And... I'm gonna double check that I have enough fuel here and supplies. Let's head back. The Scrim Shander. And this might be it. This may very well be the end here, I don't know. Or, it'll go on for hours, and uh, I'll have to cut it in half, but somehow I don't think so. But I've deposited my money in the bank, or at least a lot of it. By bank, I mean my house. My affairs are in order. And again, surely if I'm about to become immortal, am I going to have to make a choice here, where it's not going to go? It's not going to go to plan, is it? When does anything ever go to plan when it comes to immortality in the fallen London universe? In fact, the only one that seems to be rem remotely reliable is the Hesperian Cider, and even that seems to be wrought with issues. We go through the carnet. We did, we did an exceptional story on the Hesperian cider, didn't we? Was that was that the cider? It was definitely about a cider. It was the old people in the pub. It was a brilliant story, that was. Brilliant indeed. The last exceptional story was a bit bizarre. It was like a murder mystery thing where you were you were making choices about how you remember things happening. It was very interesting. It's definitely worth watching. But, uh, it was different. It was different to what I, I, I expect from an exceptional story. I'm used to... I don't know, over... Well, actually, I'm used to the Parabola. We had about, like, 50 stories. A little exaggeration. We had, we had like, three stories back to back that were all Parabola. Or Parabola adjacent. Which is a bit bad, really, because when it comes to actually, like, in Fallen London, the game... I haven't really explored the Parabola. I know you can get involved in the Parabolan War and things, but I haven't done any of that. It's it's not good. I keep getting caught in exceptional stories when I'm recording them, so my, my out of uh, out of recording time play is, is a lot less than, than it could be. Currently, I'm trying to get my notability up to... It was either increase my job or upgrade my lodgings. Because uh, I have the Brass Embassy lodgings and I want to upgrade it, but I don't know what I need. But I know I need 5 notability. Other than that, I'll find out when uh, Penstock's agency opens up on the end of d the end of January. Which is a side note to if you do play Fallen London, now is the perfect time to upgrade your 4 star, <laughs> your 4 card. I wanted to say hotel. Hostel? No. Home? It's got a name. It's got the, the paint fumes, they get into my brain. Um. I mean, they, it has a name in the game. And it's so, such an obvious name. Oh, I've gone past Grimshander. 
Uh, lodgings. Lodgings. That's the name. That took far too much brain power, that did. It's Krim Shander. Now. Alright, here we go. Let's go find Miriam. Lay your plans. Alright. Let's commit a spy network. The Presperate military is a patchwork of feudal obligations and treaties agreed between its 76 sub kingdoms. It's a knot ready to be unpicked. Mariam's eyes widen as you lay out the extent of your espionage network upon the map board. A foothold on the Elder Continent? She exclaims, and grins with her blue-black teeth. You've planted the seed, my lady. Now we nurture it, encourage it to grow like vines through the Presperate's allegiances. Then, in a number of years, we give the order, and the Presperate turns against itself. Mariam's memory is more reliable when she's scheming. With a little luck, we will be able to take Nida with a detachment of mercenaries. I think I know just the fellows. We gained a secret. And then finally, breaching the walls. Hathrael and Hatha Sage have made great strides recently in the art of fulmination. If you could combine their chemistry with recent developments in blast shaping and some terribly modern research into thermobaric expulsion, you could be onto something. Science! The test site still glows. Heat hangs in the air like a blanket, crisping the hairs on the back of your hand. You remove your safety goggles. Their lenses are warped beyond use now anyway and examine what used to be a monolith of basalt, and is now a shapeless, seeping mass, hissing as it cools. I rather think that will do, says your financier, whose engineers are engaging in a hearty round of backslapping. We'll have to go into mass production, of course. It'll take time. Okay, and that's it. Retire from the Z-faring life to plan the conquest of Nida? Time has come, Miriam says, to dedicate yourself wholeheartedly to our endeavour. We have much work to do. Is this it? Does it just end here? Do I not actually get to see the siege of Nida? That is wholly upsetting. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm going to click it. We're going to find out together. This might just be the end. Her memories are fading. There is much you must pass on to you regarding the Presperate before they vanish altogether, beyond the means of her engravings and statues to recover. Seven years pass? Ooh. You do get to find out, like an achievement. Romans 6 9. Across the gloomy sea, Across the carmine sands and the lurid violet jungles and the brazen veldt, to the mountain blazing bright, to Nida. Her basalt walls are broken, blood shed stains her gemstone streets. This close, the light of the mountain is savage. Lenses of sapphire protect your eyes as you march along the avenue of lament. At its end, Beyond the statue of the first Presbyra is the funeral facade of the College of Morality, grey and grim. Your detachment has penetrated furthest into the city. Batuk is at your side, bearing the Seven's apple and plowshare banner. This is it, he bellows over the sound of battle. But last time, this is as far as we got. Your moment is at hand. Wait, <laughs> I can betray the Seven? <laughs> betray the Seven and seize immortality solely for yourself? Seven is an unwieldy number. One is much more straightforward. 
We can uh, democratize death, alter the plan, stay loyal to the Seven, or you can forsake your quest and protect the Presperate. On reflection, better a lifetime of pleasure than an eternity of trouble. Immortality begets envy. Well, none of you would be here. That's a valid point. Ah, oh, oh, I, I really want to click the top option. Oh, that's bad though. That's like what bad people would do. <laughs> the the nice option is to click democratize death. And stay loyal to the seven. But betray the seven and seize immortality for myself. The only one I don't want to do is forsake the quest and protect the press. Screw this guy. I just want to know, if I do this, do I get to be immortal? <laughs> Screw it. Let's do the top option. It's the most interesting one to me. You clap Batuk on the shoulder, then you reach up and pluck his sapphire lenses away. He screams as his eyes boil. You retrieve his fallen banner, tie a length of red silk to it, and raise it high. At your signal, your assassins strike at the remaining seven. Your second in command curses and draws her pistol, pushing her away towards you. Fortunately, you identified her as one of Isri's agents several months ago. Your men, forewarned, fire first. Give an order. Your gun emplacements begin methodically shelling the College of Morality. Its mortuary breezes vanish in clouds of dust. Holes are blasted in the walls, revealing glimpses of a facsimile paradise. Chambers of extravagant wealth, gardens of fruit-heavy trees. Sephirically beautiful servants, now shredded by shrapnel. Perhaps you will repair it and make it your palace. When the once prespers of the college surrender. Yeah, there we are. A white flag, a rag of dusty bedsheet, but the most beautiful sight in the Neath. It means the city is yours. It means the mountain is yours. It means eternal life is yours. And yours alone. And we've conquered Need? Neither. We've gained five veils, five iron. We have the family trophy, the family bible. A family bible, King's James, edi James edition. Of course, one passage is circled in old red ink. I'm going to read this passage. Bear with me. God, I had to make sure I got the one from the King's James bible. Wait, there's a newer version of the King's James bible? Oh my god. They're the same, it's fine. Not as though the word of God hath taken none effect, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. I'm sure that is deep and profound. Hey, choose a legacy to preserve something for your next captain. We did it. Achievement unlocked. I am the captain of my soul. I mean, I was unaware that I could do all of this. What's this? Carry a lost sister to a tree of red? Behold her ladyship? Oh, oh wait, no, that's... Okay, these were the ones that would end my captain early, but I'd get a bonus, right? Uh, you were Celine's rival, retained 50% of their iron value and one weapon, shipmate, correspondent? Oh, God. I don't know. <laughs> you can choose two legacies. This doesn't matter. Let's just quit. Can I just quit to the title screen? And and we did it. We we beat sun the seas. No one saw it coming. But today is the day, which means, I guess, next week, or maybe the week after New Year, I don't know, it may, my, New Year's might cause carnage, but I will be starting Sun the Skies again. I am so, I'm excited. 
But hopefully you enjoyed this playthrough. This won't be the end of Sunless Seas. There will be more Sunless Seas in the future, I am sure. But we will be taking a break, like I say, and playing Sunless Skies for a while. Just to keep us in universe, you know. Obviously, there's Fallen London playlists and things if you want more of that. And, hopefully, you've enjoyed this whole series. It's huge. If you made it to the end, you are one of the few heroes of this channel. I do not expect people to be watching hundreds of episodes of me blabbering around in a game like this. But either way, thank you very, very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated, and as always, I'll see you next time.